I'm here for the exo um, bionics trial at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. One, two, I'm paralyzed from the T10 level downward, so not only that I cannot walk, um, all my bodily functions, um, you know, digestive, bladder, bowel, um, are not functional for my injury. So shift to the left and step right. Being able to take your first step is a phenomenal feeling. Um, I don't know how to describe it in words, really. Um, I think uh, I think everybody noticed that you know they can see a big smile on my face. Uh, a little bit of uh, resistance because I was nervous about falling. You know, I don't think I've ever stood up, you know, without using my arms to help myself up. In this case, kind of fought with the machine on that. Being upright, it's uh, mentally, emotionally exciting to be up, standing up, being able to see people eye, uh, at an eye level, rather than to always look up and have everybody look down at me. I'm an architect. Um, it was a work injury, uh, I guess a crane accident in New York City. Um, I was the architect for the new Goldman Sachs World Headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Um, when the accident happened, I believe around 10.30, um, uh, crane lifting steel, about seven tons of steel dropped onto my trailer. Turn? Yeah. Turn. It, it's been four years. It seems a long time. Um, it's, you know, I do get frustrated sometimes being in a chair, trying to maneuver, um, not having my hands free because I need my hands to, to push. When my children wanted to go to the park and have me, have me push them on the swing, I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring my wheelchair over the, you know, the, the sand and things like that. So I'm stuck here. I have to find, you know, my wife would have to push the children. And I feel left out in life. I feel that I've missed something in life. And I think with the bionics, I'm hoping that, you know, it will recapture some of the things that I've lost.